now with this diddy destruction going on taking up all of social media i want you all to pay attention to this eclipse it's not just an eclipse right portals will be opening now let us get into the first evidence because you're not going to say it's conspiracy theories the first evidence is coming from the daily mail and they're telling us that CERN to test the world's most powerful particle accelerator during the April solar eclipse to search for invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. The world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator is set. Smash protons together on April 8th to search for invis invisible particles secretly powering, powering our universe. No, that's what they tell you they are doing, smashing particles, right, on April 8th during the eclipse. Mighty convenient, right? Let's get another piece of evidence so we can put them together. This one is coming from Forbes, and they're saying, why NASA will fire three rockets at the solar eclipse? NASA has announced it will fire three scientific sounding rockets into the moon's shadow on Monday, April 8th during a partial solar eclipse across North America. The Space Agency project atmospheric perturbation around the eclipse path will investigate how that drop in sunlight and temperature affects Earth's upper atmosphere. APEP is named after, listen to this, after the serpent deity from ancient Egyptian mythology, nemesis of the sun deity Ra, according to NASA. You can't make this thing up, right? No, let us look and see exactly what Ra is. Ra is an all-powerful and invincible sun god. Begins his life in a primeval waters. For a long time, he resided in the heart of a lotus bud and kept his eyes tightly shut so as not to lose his brightness. Okay? Now, let us find out what Nemesis is all about. Nemesis, the Greek goddess of retribution, punished anyone who showed arrogance and pride, or Euboros with the greatest severity, and also had the responsibility of ensuring that luck and justice were evenly shared out. A child of the night, she was responsible with the Furies, three avenging goddesses for transporting the souls of dead wrongdoers to Tartarus, the region of punishment in the underworld, right? One for light, one for darkness. Mighty interesting, right? No. This is purely on me. Portals will be opening, and these people know that once they open Pandora's box, they can't control what's going to come out, when it's going to come out. So therefore, they need NASA. Those rockets that NASA will be sending up, I believe those rockets are there to block whatever image you can physically see. That is just my belief over here, right? Because the reason what they're saying, I'm not buying. So those three rockets is there to block whatever. So if there's anything physical that people can bear witness to, because they need to keep up the, the charade that is all conspiracy theories. Nothing is happening. Everything is good. The sun is shining. They need to keep that up. But what if there is a visible sign in the sky? Then there will be a problem. Right? Because we know that CERN is going to be opening portals. And the evidence tell you that they'll be smashing particles on the 8th. That is what they are telling you. But really, when the 8th, there will be a lot of power. And we know there will be a lot of rituals. And there will be a lot of um, young ones. And I most definitely will be praying. And I'll be breaking all of those 
sacrifices that they're, they're trying to use. I'll be praying and I'll be doing my own bit to make sure that whatever plans they're having is not going to go to work, right? So over here, we know CERN will be opening the portals and they're making sure that if anything coming out into our dimension that is physical, that people can bear witness to, CERN is there to use their rockets to block it out. They know something is up, but what they don't know is how to control it. Once you open Pandora box, you're not going to use some holy water and a cross to try and control whatever is going to come out. And they need to keep the charade going. They need to keep people um, in this conspiracy theories mindset. Nothing to see here. Everything is okay. But best believe something is coming out on the 8th. Right? Life will never be the same after the 8th of April. Not just for America, but worldwide. Things are going to go spiritual, supernatural really fast. But the thing is this, these people need to control it. And that's what they cannot do. So if they can't control it, then they're going to put up a curtain. And that is what the NASA rocket is there for. They definitely know that a doorway is going to open. Millions of people is going to witness this. And they've got to come up with a story. No, you need to make sure you have your emergency supplies. You got your candles, oil in your lamp, you've got tin foods, you got your water, right? Because things are going to go downhill really, really fast. Because once Pandora's box is open, you cannot control what is coming out. And this will affect every single person worldwide, right? This is not a joke. They tell you it is conspiracy theories, right? They tell you not to believe it's just mythology. Sweep it under the carpet. Nothing to see here. But then again, they are naming their rockets, their mission after these ancient gods. Why? Why? Understand people who rest not with flesh and blood. Wickedness in high places. And they're all nervous because they don't know what to expect on the day. They only know something is going to cross over. They don't know if it's going to be physical or spiritual. But what are the odds? What are the odds on the 8th? NASA is sending three rockets. What are the odds? CERN is smashing particles on the 8th. Understand, portals are going to open for physically for people to see for themselves right so get your supplies pay attention and understand what the day is and also another important information before i forget on april 8th 1904 alistair crawley wrote his book about Thel Thelema, right the book of the law 8th 9th and 10th right and it is said that he uses guardian angel i was right to help write the book they were doing their summoning on the 8th so it is quite a very special day for these people right something is crossing over on the 8th of april life will not be the same make sure you get your supply on that day we don't know if we're gonna see um something in disguise um physically on that day we don't know if it's going to happen gradually we don't know but know that life will never be the same right they all got their excuses because they've got to find something to tell the sheeples eyes up pay attention to the skies and understand time's up we need to pray and say glory be to the most high